Hi everybody, this is just the follow-up video to the hidden word video that we talked about a bit ago. Um, it's the same principle, but it's using a special color ink tool to make it a little more interactive. So you see we have our magnifying glass again on the page, we, same way we made it in the last video. Um, so this time I'm going to put a picture as my background. I'm not going to set it as my background. I'm just going to drag in the picture and lock it from my desktop. Um, so let's go do that first. So here's a picture of a bunch of animals. I'm going to take that and I'm going to click the menu and I'm going to lock that in place. Again, I'm just doing this quick to show you the basic principle of it. You could spend more, more or less time on this uh, to, to suit your needs of what you're doing. All right, so notice how the magnifying goes glass goes behind that image. I want that to be in front of it. Not, not all the way in front, just in front of that. So what I'm going to do is select it, go to my order menu, and I'm going to bring it forward. So now it should be right on top. There it is right there. Okay. So I want to add some words to label my animals, but I want to continue doing the same principle of the, as the hidden word game we saw in the last video. But to do that, I need to match the text to my background or the picture color. In order to do that in Smart Notebook, go to your text tool and type where you're going, uh, select where you're going to start typing. So I'm going to select right about there. Now, if I want this color of my text to match as close as possible to the elephant's color, what I do is I go to my properties over here. I select the little uh, dropper tool and I hover over my elephant and it's going to as close as possible now match my text color to the color of the elephant by clicking it and I'll start typing. Now it's not perfect but it is close so I can embed that right there so it is kind of hard to see it would be kind of hard to see on a board itself. Let's do it again for um, the tiger. So I'm going to click my text tool, again go to my ink dropper, hover over the tiger, and now type tiger. Notice it matches as close as it can to the actual color of the object that I'm typing on. Now again the same principle, I bring my magnifying glass up, and you can search for words on your page using that to match the pictures. Again, it's the same principle we saw before with the hidden words, except this time you're going over using the ink drop tool, dropping it on the picture to match the color as close as you can to the object that you're writing on. This was a, just a brief tutorial to show you that next trick using hidden ink. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.